Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And excited to be bringing you match day one action at the Euros. It's the Netherlands versus France. Well, it's vital that you don't have an off day in these group games. Consistency is key to progressing further in the tournament. I'm looking forward to a hard-fought contest here today, Derek. Here's the starting 11 for the Netherlands. Well, on paper, it's down as a 4-5-1. But for me, it's more likely to be a split midfield with three supports in the front man and two sitting that little bit deeper as defensive cover. Well, memories, memories. France, the winners back in 1984 with Michel Platini, the main attacking force. Then in 2000, it was Zinedine Zidane, the headline act, as they won again. But they haven't prevailed at the Euros since then, Stuart. Nevertheless, there isn't a better team in this competition than France on paper. I don't think there is a better team. Even though they lost to Argentina in the World Cup final, I thought they were the best team in the tournament. And I think they're going to be the side to beat here. They've got lots of good players and a manager that knows what he wants from his team. They could go all the way. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. And it clearly was deflected, so it will be their throw in. And cutting it out. Giroud. In possession to give them the lead, maybe. Oh, a stellar piece of defending. Tajani Reinders. Fairman. And a strong tackle. Well, sitting deep here, almost inviting the pressure. Kunde. That's an effective cross aimed at the back post. And given away by the Netherlands. Griezmann. On to Rabio. Giroud. Now Conte. Giroud, and a goal to open the scoring, no wonder they're celebrating. Well, look at the finish here, he's just eased that beyond the keeper, that's a good goal you have to say. nil then Tajani Reinders Joey Fairman Jordi Schouten Reinders well timed tackle Jordi Schouten. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Has a go. 
Well, he had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Well, they might be trailing, but hope in the form of a corner. Playing it short. Well, they'll try to keep the pressure on in the form of another corner. Short corner taken. Depay. And getting across to stop it. Oh, the keeper at fault. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, as they say in French, Olivier Giroud has that savoir faire. He knows what he's doing in this one, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but he... And the ball is moving again, with France looking to build on a largely positive first-half performance here. Good-looking sequence. No possibilities in the centre. Hernandez. A fine block. Turam. And now Rabio. He takes aim. Nicely saved. Time for the change now. Griezmann tasked with taking the corner. There it is! Two to the good now, and that gives them a buffer. Well, here it is again, and you have to say it's the perfect delivery into the danger area. And it's such a well-executed header. Back over the keeper, into the opposite corner. Excellent goal. Two nil now, and back on the way. Tajani Reinders. And so, 30 minutes left for play in this one. Joey Fairman. Schouten. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. That's a very fine piece of tackling, and keeping it out. They're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. And over it comes. Well, not giving him any breathing room. Kunde. Well read to win possession back. 
Schouten. Well, it's a decent looking attack, this. Really important piece of last ditch defending. Now, counter attacking possibilities. A real opening now. And this time it's in. Fabulous goal. And just look at the celebrations. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And all you can do is admire the finish by Mbappe. He hits the ball so clearly. It's a fantastic strike. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. The pie. Dumfries. And take it away. Upamecano. So to the keeper. William Saliba. Coman. Pass after pass, happy to just keep possession and frustrate their opponents. And drawing it back. Can he take advantage? Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. So making the substitution now. Trying to deliver it accurately. And a goal! It's a finish of real class. No shortage of acrobatics on display here. He's judged it to perfection. Incredible header. Well, here's the replay. It's certainly a well-delivered ball into the area, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. about the outcome surely they now have been removed and space for him to cut in angles it back well the main conclusion is made it far too easy for the keeper well I don't think he can believe it that's such an easy save in the end so the corner played into the box There it is, the final whistle, and France have prevailed in this one. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right, and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable, and he inspires those around him.